connection between how this mouth actually potentially trickles into something like a scoliosis or some type of imbalance in that. I know you just said it. Try to make it easier, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think for my personal experience, personally, but also with th thousands of patients, is number one is just the malocclusion. Like, can you bite evenly if you bite? Like, do you have a stable bite left and right? For me personally, I have only one hitting spot on the right side. Left side is like kind of loose. So I think if you have an alignment, if your teeth are crowded or you have a, a forward bite or backward, like a, like a protrusion or retrusion, I think that's second. It doesn't really matter. As long as this is stable first. Stable first is the most important and the right height because this is – uh, this is basically telling your atlas and axis, that's your first two um, vertebrae, um, that they need to be like aligned at the back. I think the forward, the forward occlusion, like when your lower jaw is too big for your upper jaw or your mid face didn't grow enough, there's different versions. Um, it's called a, yeah, let's say just protrusion of your lower jaw. If you see that from the side, if you would look at people that have this, in the overall spine position, um, how can I? It feels like, or it looks like, the whole body is trying to compensate in in terms of pulling the whole body backwards. Mm. Like they will have maybe a bit of an overarch in their lower spine, and they're not loose. They they cannot have their arms loose. It's more like all pulled back to compensate for this forward thing. Can you imagine what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Whereas the opposite happens for well, people that have this, um, the lower jaw too far in the back, a yeah. posterior lower jaw. Then obviously the lower, uh, the back changes. It's more like an wait. Let me translate it. It's probably then more posterior pelvic tilt and more forward rounded yeah. shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. But there's different sorts. For example, I have a, my my lower jaw seems to be more forward, but if you look at it, really is not my lower jaw the problem. My upper jaw isn't really grown because I had a lack of nutrients like you had at the cell-shaped palate. And basically, I'm missing mid-face. So this is something you need to um, consider. Whatever it is, it's really important that the occlusion is stable and balanced and there's no like height loss because the height loss is probably... Yeah, the most important because it will then translate to having less blood supply to your brain and being more cramped up in this temporomandibular joint. And all the, the lining muscle here, like you will clench more, you will grind more, masseter will be hypertrophic or um, hyper, hypertonic. And all these muscle in your jaw, like below your jaw, the inside, there's something called the patelgoideus muscle. They get super tense. And this is a stressor in itself because these nerves can't come out anymore. And then you cramp up, you can't uh, really lose the toxins from your brain, your lymphatic system doesn't work mm -hmm. very well, you get tight upper back, you maybe even get a uh, shoulder arm syndrome, you cannot contract your biceps or your arms pretty well. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the plexus where all the nerves come out for your arms is here and it's all tied up because of problems in your mouth. And it's not just a bite. Basically, everything that's been done, like it's an inflammation, like we said at the beginning from the cavitations or around the tip of a root canal or just, just heavy metals in there, all this can lead to various postural problems and overall issues. Also, obviously connected to the, the vagal nerve if that's always stressed. I have patients, because of this inflammation in their jawbone, they have, haven't had any vagal tone for 30 years. We call it toxic vagus syndrome. and It's just because of the stuff in the mouth. It shuts down totally. And imagine if your vagal nerve doesn't work anymore. You're always in sympathetic. Your organs won't work. Your digestion won't work. Nothing works, basically. You feel like really bad. <laughs>